1942, many male pilots had been sent overseas to serve in World War II, and the United States Air Force had a demand for more. With permission from General Hap Arnold, the Chief of the Army Air Forces, Jacqueline Cochran created the Women Air Force Service Pilots, or WASP, with hopes to train women from all over the country to fly military planes. She contacted every woman who already had a pilot's license. These women then had to meet strict requirements to be accepted for training, much stricter than those placed on the men. Only 1,830 women met these requirements. They willingly left their homes, jobs, and families and headed to Avenger Field in Sweetwater, Texas, where they endured the same training as male pilots. Of the 1,830 women who were accepted into the intense program, 1,074 graduated to become the first group of women authorized to fly military aircraft. Although the WASP never went into combat, they still flew over 60 million miles in total performing operational duties for their country in a desperate time of need. Their jobs were no less dangerous than that of their male counterparts. 38 WASP were killed in the line of duty. The women had a slightly higher mortality rate of 693 thousandths per 1,000 hours in comparison to the men's mortality rate of 540 thousandths per 1,000 hours. The military covered costs to send a fallen man home to their family, but the women's final trip home was not paid for. Despite performing the same duties as males, the WASP did not receive insurance and were paid significantly less. These women dedicated their lives to serving our country and their actions ended up being overlooked and discredited. As the war came to a close, the WASP were disbanded on December 20th, 1944 despite their unquestionable successes. They were to return home with no benefits, beginning their lives over again. WASP member Marjorie Reese declared they were denied the expected militarization by a Congress lobbied by civilian male pilots who feared being drafted into non-flying jobs. It was not until 1979 that Congress acknowledged their contribution to the war effort to have been active military service, granting the women veteran status at last. Even so, the victory remained a rather quiet, almost mundane manner, as reported in the National Tribune. It was not until recently, in 2014, that the 111th Congress granted a Congressional Gold Medal to the Women Air Force Service Pilots. The proposed bill included how they faced overwhelming cultural and gender bias against women in non-traditional roles and overcame multiple injustices and inequalities in order to serve their country. It also credited the women Air Force Service pilots as the catalyst for revolutionary reform in the integration of women pilots into the armed services. The bill openly discloses that the WASP military records were immediately sealed, stamped classified or secret, and filed away in government archives unavailable to the historians who wrote the history of World War II or the scholars who compiled the history textbooks used today. The women Air Force Service pilots proved that given the freedom, women could contribute just as much as men. They made an undeniable case supporting the significance of equal opportunities to reach a goal. The legacy these women leave behind is worth remembering, and they deserve honor, glory, and gratitude as much as any other service member.